collective flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Sin. Say so ready for the beautiful handsome collective. Hello, collective. How you doing? Hold on, let me get your flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. To book a private reading with me or to shop in my store, all that information is in the description box below. Okay, let's get into it. I had to get on here before I forget the channel message here. All right, um, before I get into it, don't forget to get your copy of your book. All right, that information will be in the description box below, in the chat, and also in the community uh, community board, okay? So let's hop right into it. So the channel message here is, is really a meditative message. It is, a detective is furious and flying off the handle. So you have an ex-lover here that has been um, creating a lot of felonious um, reports, uh, lying reports or creating lying reports um towards this detective here the reason for the reason why this ex is trying to do all this is because they're trying to get you caught up with some form of like a higher like fed time or some kind of stuff but the 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 reports that they've been making have been very much so egregious and just full of lies and it has come to the attention of a detective here that there has been a lot of holes within this ex, uh, ex lover or whatever here, um, that you were entertaining beforehand. Um, in a meditative state here, I saw a detective whisking away at a computer feverishly. It was two computers side by side. So they had your information on one end and they had your ex information on one hand. They were trying to put together the whole scenario or more so the whole story because there were a lot of lies or a lot of holes that were being told within the story. And at the time, the detective didn't know who to believe. They didn't know if they should believe you collective or they should believe the, um, the, the ex. The ex went ahead as to rally up their family and their friends here to all take turns to make reports in regards to this detective here. And the detective did more digging and more research. In my meditative state, when um, they finally cracked the cold, there was like a aha moment or more so a light bulb moment where this detective had like a come to me moment in regards to all the lies that the, the, that the, uh, that the, ex, the ex karmic here was spewing here. This detective in the meditative state, I've never ever witnessed or experienced a meditative state where someone was very angry or so. The amount of rage or energy or anger that this detective have against this karmic and the karmic family here, because what they did was they wasted their time, they lied, um, and they could have really gotten you either hurt or in trouble, you know, in a very crazy way um based on the lies they told towards the detective here so this detective is going all out and this is a police detective this detective is going all out to ensure that this karmic the karmic the karmic that you dealt with not only the karmic but the karmic family will be going to jail here they also found some things in regards to this karmic family here that they've been doing a lot of fraud a lot a lot of wiring um money laundering and then also a lot of things with medical records too they've been falsifying medical records here to get paid from the state that's a felony <laughs> the detective found this out here <clears throat> once they continue to do more digging or research in regards to this family dynamic here and they're completely disgusted by this this dynamic actions here and they'll be coming very hard on them here very very hard very 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 hard on here Yep, we have leap and then we have freedom in reverse. So this detective is definitely going to be leaping into this karmic's face or just more so they're going to give it to them real and raw. This detective here, when I was sitting in meditative state, they have a very, 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 very strong um, 
like strikeout energy. They don't like to be lied to. They don't like to be played with. They don't like their time to be wasted. And this karmic family that did this towards this detective here is like this detective is on a war path to ensure that these individuals don't get away with it. <clears throat> now, keep in mind that these uh, karmics or the karmic family or the ex that you were dealing with here, they're still taking turns and they're still going towards the detective here and feeding them lies and BS. But the detective is now hip or now aware in regards to the lies that they have been saying about you here. And they are furious. They are furious. And this detective is going to make a huge example out of them. A huge example out of them. Huh. Mm, mm, mm. It's going to blow up in your face really bad. Really, really, really bad. This detective is very aggressive. Very aggressive. I mean, might put paws and hands and feet on this person. They're very aggressive. Very aggressive. And they're gonna, it's like they want their they want their time back. They went all they want all the time that they spent feverishly on this this so-called case here, which came up to be nothing found in regards to you here, and all of the time and energy that they put into line in regards to you here. It's, it's like this detective is like, uh, no stones left unturned. They're going to take, they're going to suck this, this family or this group of people dry when it comes to them not telling the truth. I, mm. They have been defrauding the government for, for a while now. And that has come to the attention. Yeah, family tree and an ex that you may have shared a child with or kids with here. They have been defrauding the government here in regards to trying to get some kind of assistance from the government. Not only are they going to have to pay that back, they will see jail time just for that case here. They're in a loss right now. Power is in reverse. Whoever doctor or nurse or whoever that they're going to because this doctor or nurse is not right or they're not ethical. So whoever they're going to in regards to a doctor or nurse here, they will lose their license as well too for falsifying um, false information to help this family member or this family dynamic here to get uh, free assistance from the government here. Hmm. Now, this is what they don't want people to be aware about, this family dynamic here. They don't want people to be aware that they have been taken or stealing, stealing from the government. So not only do they have the government on their head, they have the feds on their head, and they also have this detective on their head as well, too. And they're going to be very shocked because they're not realizing that the tables are turning. So as they continue to make their felonious reports, because making false reports in this manner here is considered a felony and because of the many reports that they made against you here they're going to be seeing or they're going to have to face multiple felonies for doing this here <laughs> this detective is going to ensure that they don't escape this every last person that was involved in this they're not going to escape this that's why i keep telling you guys it don't pay to lie boo it just truly don't pay to lie <laughs> it do not pay to lie This detective even went further, went even deeper and realized that this family dynamic here has betrayed you in many ways because of the type of things that they were saying. Um, let's see. They said that you took something from them. Okay. They tried to paint you out to be a thief or a robber here. And they said that you stole like money or you stole... You took something from them and this is why they wanted to press charges and these individuals were very adamant or very consistent in regards to making reports towards this particular detective here they did use some form of candle work here over this detective to make their mind more like haze so that way they can the detective could sway more into the karmic side here but the karmics are stuck here because the illusions have been broken here and i'm telling you this this detective is nothing to play with Nothing to play with. They don't like liars. They don't like liars. And they're going to ensure, they're going to ensure that they stick it to them. They stick it to this karmic family here.
they're realizing that this group of people are very irresponsible here. This ex of yours told this detective that you gave them an STD. We all know that you did not because all you got to do is take a test and, you know, your test will come back normal. So you ain't got nothing to worry about. But they're walking around with either HIV or herpes here and they're telling people that, um, that they got it from you. Child, please. This nurse or doctor is going to lose their license. They will never be able to practice anywhere ever again. And they will be going to jail too. Homeless. Fake emperor. They're lying about a child here. They're lying about a child records here. They're falsifying documents on a health record here so they can get paid through the states. Social Security could be involved in this too. So someone could be getting Social Security for a child that was not authorized. Um, they're getting like food stamps to get anything that will that will represent the government, like free benefits, wherever the case may be. They've been falsifying a lot of documents here to control the narrative of the situation here. Now, this group of people don't like to work. They like to depend on other people. And they're using a child or children here as a token here so that, way, so, so that way they don't have to work or they don't have to do anything. All they want to do is just be lazy and just collect money. They don't care where the money comes from, but as long as money is coming in, this is what they're due. So if you're separated from a child right now, this is the reason why you could be separated from a child. It's because they look at the child as a cash cow. And they use that child or more so the karmic here. So the karmic's mother or father, however, resonates in your story, whoever you share a child with here, their parents here is involved in this and wanted to ensure that their child, the karmic that you have a child with here, they wanted to ensure that they kind of take reign or take control over the situation here by going to court, lying to the court, lying to the court officials. Um, some of them even paid off a judge or lawyers as well, too. They're heavy drug use involved, confused. They're confused by, by the turn of events here. They're going to be stressed out because they're not going to understand how the tables have turned on them. But they're nothing but users here. They don't even realize what they did when they lied towards this detective here. And this detective is a no-nonsense person. They don't like liars whatsoever. They don't like it. And they just blatantly lied in this person's face because they thought they could do it and get away with it here. This detective thought that something was off with this family because of the way they kept coming back towards them in regards to making reports about you and the reports that they kept making or saying about you just wasn't adding up. So this is why they went further, deeper down the rabbit hole to kind of see like truly what was going on here and they found the jackpot here. They found the jackpot. Dang. They found the jackpot. And that's what's gonna cause the tower moment for this karmic here. So the disgusting narcissist, a pig that you're not in no communication with. Very, very, very sneaky here. If you have a child with this person, they may have used your show, your social to gain to gain information or to get whatever it is that they need to get. That's fraud. That's identity theft uh fraud in the government it, the, i mean the list of charges is so long child <laughs> it, it's so and anyone that knows if you play with the government they not they not <laughs> okay they gonna come and get what they need to get <laughs> they gonna come get what they need to get and they gonna come and they gonna get them <laughs> they're emotionally exhausted because of the lies that they have to keep up with here but they've really taken a lot from the state here 
for some of you guys, um, they may try to take you to court for child support. They're not going to get anything. Please, remember, please keep in mind that this is not going to resonate with everybody. But they're going to try to take you to court to get uh, some kind of like child support or some kind of like money, monetary something from you. They're not going to receive it here. To be honest, if they take you to court, they're going to dig themselves a deeper hole. So either way, it's a lose-lose situation for them. Great news is in reverse for this karmic. Growth is in reverse. This detective is going to come around and start asking more harder questions and they're not going to be able to answer the questions to the point where they may start to dodge and hide from the detective, which is also going to raise their antennas even more. Because if I'm coming towards you to ask questions about someone that you claim is a bad person, right? And you're not answering my questions or you're more so uh, ducking or ignoring you know, the conversation, the communication I'm trying to have towards you, it's a red flag or it's more so a red flag for this uh, for this detective here. And this detective is seeing red because they don't like dishonesty. They don't like dishonesty at all, which made them very curious because of the amount of reports that they were creating or saying about you here. Collective, when this is all over, you're going to laugh so much. You're going to have such a hearty laugh, man. They're not going to get out of this. This detective going to make sure every nook and cranny of this dynamic, this toxic ex-family dynamic here that you had a child with or kids with, they're going to stick it to them so bad, so bad, so, so, so bad. They're not going to see this coming. I could be talking about it now. They're not going to see it coming. They don't know the day and they don't know the time. <laughs> it's a major concern here for this family dynamic. They could be expecting a payment or a payout here. The payment could have been stopped. So they were receiving payment from the government or payment from like uh, welfare or, you know, benefits and things of that nature. I feel like it stopped or it halted. And because it stopped and, or halted, they went to dig or more so to uh, inquire about the reason why they have not received their latest payments here. And it's putting them in bad health here. They don't even realize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, man, they don't even realize the type of trouble that they in, child. They were just looking for a handout. They wanted you to make the child or have the child, but they didn't want you involved in the, in the child's life because they wanted to use the child as a cash cow here, and they're all going to jail. Not only are they all going to jail, the child will be returned back to you. <clears throat> They're working really hard to keep this quiet. Well, I guess somewhat. <laughs> They're working really hard to keep it quiet. Toil and labor is in reverse. There's, they, they think they're working really hard uh, to keep this hidden here. But yeah, you're going to get a message about a child. You can collect them, go get your child. Such and such, collect them, Mr. Such and such. Miss Such and such, please come collect your child. Or you know what I mean? Something like that. You're going to get a call. It's time for you to go pick up your child. <clears throat> they're under heavy scrutiny right now. Heavy, heavy scrutiny. They feel like they're being watched or they feel like their phones are being tapped here. <clears throat> the person who took your identity, this ex here that you have a child with, who took your identity here, you can press charges on this person to the fullest extent. And I do feel this detective will help you or ensure that you are able to um, to sue to the to the highest extent here, because they did a lot towards you and to this child or this children here, which caused them a really bad reputation, really, really, really bad reputation. This detective is very well known. It's it's a good detective, detective on the right side of things. But they're very well known amongst their career or their peers here. And they have lots of connections here. And they're going to pull out the best of the best artillery of their connections here to ensure that they slam this karmics into oblivion, basically.
yeah, dirty offer. So they've been giving the detective information that was dirty or just more so wasn't true here. And the detective has finally rejected the, these group of people here. They may still be going towards them, having conversation, telling them such and such, just making up lies here. And the detective was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. Okay, yep, I got it. Yep, I got it. I got it. But they're realizing that they have been telling, they have been telling lies here. Also with obsessive lover, they're realizing that this ex-lover is very obsessed over you. I mean, this detective did, they went through, they did their research, a fine teeth comb here to see who was telling the truth. And you are in the clear collective. You have nothing to worry about. You may receive an inmate call from somebody in jail. Let them stay right there and ride. The detective is also aware of the plotting of trying to unalive you as well, too. They have the motives. They have all the information that they need here. Now it's just time to more so just execute this whole thing, basically the bust. And they will be busted. <laughs> See, they're creeping here. They're creeping on social media. They're creeping on your your pages here, they could be watching tarot as well too to get like a leg up or just more so abreast as to the situation here. But like I said, even if they were to see this video here, they still won't know the time or day and people are watching them. So they really have nowhere to go. <laughs> they could be very paranoid as well too because they just know something is off. Freedom is in reverse. Their freedom is, is revoked here. Imagine you go to school for all them years to become a doctor or a nurse or whatever, whatever field profession that you're in. And that's you finally reach your goal and you're going to wait. You're going to throw away your license, your whole life away because you want to help somebody defraud the government. OK. Whatever you say, <laughs> whatever you say. And they did get paid under the table, too. This doctor got paid under the table as well. essence in reverse someone's losing their color or it's like they saw a ghost because when the detective pops up it's like oh you remember me but you know they're like uh like real nervous and scared because they know time is up here they know time is up they know time is up yeah the truth ace of swords the detective is coming through with the ace of swords the truth here you may also get an apology from the detective however you decide you want to do with that but judgment is here for these karmics here and it's not looking good at all it's not looking good eight of swords and ten of wands it's not looking good at all they feel very overwhelmed that eyes are on them and their hidden motives are being revealed here. The moon, a mother is behind this or a, a mother has been pushing. So whoever you had the, the child with, that parent, the other parents, their mother is pushing them to do this here. And they will be in trouble for that as well too. So we have the tower here and the death card. <laughs> Mm-hmm, eight of wands. Fast communication here is going to spread throughout the community as to what they have been doing here. That's crazy. They try to use your name, burden the tears. They try to use your name. So just in case they get caught up here, you're going to get in trouble for it. Uh-uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 sir. No, 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 sir. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm, very angry. They're angry because they got caught. Let me drink some water. <laughs> Oh, 
that was their biggest fear. They've always had some some form of hesitancy with doing this, but this parental figure here kept pushing them. We need the money. We need this. We need that. We're taking care of this child. We're not getting anything for this child. You need to get something to pay for this child. Da, da, da. Did you just see this child as a cash cow here? Just, just as a cash cow. And they're not taking care of this child properly. So there's child neglect that's going on. The fraud in the government, lying to the authorities, uh, falsifying uh, medical records and documentation here. I think I said false identity, identity theft. The list goes on and on and on. So you will re be receiving, this is when you may receive some communication from the other parents here trying to bury the hatchet or more so trying to see if you guys can settle out of court. Don't settle out of court. Go to court and ensure that they get nailed to the to the fullest to the fullest extent. To the fullest extent. Message of peace is in reverse. You're peaceful, but you're not peaceful with that person. They did all this for money. That was a secret that's not a secret here. Karmic relationship. They wanted to get back at you for walk, walking away from them or just basically just living life how you see fit here. And they needed to pin you some way, shape, or form. So they thought by taking the child away from you or more so trying to, to keep a child away from you here and then use them in a form of just money here, they thought that that would bring you back. Because they were trying to pin you for for fraudulent fraudulent uh, activity underneath your name, but you have nothing to do with that. You never gave them permission. You never authorized anything. You're not into any of that stuff. And this is what they are in grief in, uh, in grief, and they're going to have to surrender here. This person may be very coward enough where they may just take themselves out, to be honest with you. They're going to leave everything as is and just take themselves out because they don't want to deal with the, the brunt or the brashness of what they have to, you know, of the of the states, the, you know, the, the laws, the police, the courts. They don't want to deal with that anymore. Forgiveness is in reverse. Judgment is here for this family. As I mentioned before, there is a mother figure that is sick. And the reason why they're sick is because of backfired spell work that they thought they tried to push on to you. But that's not your energy, so you just send that back to them. And when you sent that energy back to them, it hit the mother very hard, as it should. <laughs> Stop playing with magic. Stop playing with Toy Story candles. So that's well justified. So they're going through a lot right now because this mother figure is sick. They're trying to get some kind of help or assistance from the government here for this mother figure because they're realizing this mother figure is taking a turn for the worse here and they can't receive that. So I do feel like that's where the 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 light bulb moment went off or just more so like an alert went off here because of the type of assistance that they were asking for. It wasn't matching up to what they were receiving here. So it, it flagged, I guess, their accounts or, you know, their file or whatever the case may be here. And they have to pay all that back. So even though this mother figure is sick, it's either they're gonna pass in, in, in a room or they're gonna pass in jail. Those are the only two choices left. This is worrying the, the other parents of the child. It's worrying that their parents is sick here because they realize or they're soon to realize that if this parent go, when this parent go, that they're going to have to deal with this all by themselves and they don't want to deal with this all by themselves. They don't want to deal with this. They don't know how to deal with this. They don't want to deal with this. Rejection. So they may take themselves out. <clears throat> Again, this is not going to resonate for everybody. I had to jump on here really quickly because my series was like, you need to come on here before you forget this message. And I'm like, all right, 
Um, so yeah. <laughs> Patience is in reverse. They're running out of patience or they don't have patience or they never had patience here. They needed the money right then and there. They didn't care how they was going to get it. And because you're not in this, you're not in the scene or the environment, you're not anywhere around them. They thought they could spread vicious lies about you. It, it could become valid or they can just basically just people will just take their word for it is because you're not around them here. You're not aware of what's going on. And they just thought that they will always have the upper hand. And this is where they this is where they failed. This is where they failed. Someone's going to take this mother figure passing very hard. Yeah, it's going to trigger them to no end. It's giving me like incestual, like incestuous type of like connection here. This, this detective is not going to let up. <laughs> They're not going to let up. They're not going to let up on these people. And that's what's going to make them really scared. <laughs> they can't manipulate this detective anymore. I feel the reason why the detective is going so hard is because they lied. That's why they're going so hard. They, they heavily lied in regards to you. They were really trying to get you hurt or trying to get you put away. For something that you didn't even do. This may make the news in your local town or local city. The funny thing is they really thought they ate, man. <laughs> they really thought they won. That's crazy. They really thought they ate with this. spirit it could be a masculine a low vibrational masculine that's doing this yeah they're gonna be tried by the state it can happen next week could be a yes however it resonates they have no words they have nothing to say because they're caught red-handed. Yeah, anyone that they speak to, they try to put them under some kind of an illusion here. They're trying to block this detective away from them by not answering questions, by ducking them, and they think by ducking them or not responding to what they're saying here um, that everything is just going to be over, and it's not. It's just going to make the detective even more suspicious because they're not they're not cooperating. Well, why aren't you cooperating? Well, I, you know. I didn't feel I need to this and I didn't feel I need to that, but you're the one that did this and you're the one that did that. That makes sense. They're the one that initiated all of this. Okay, autocrat, a person having or ruling with unlimited power. That's in reverse. So they don't have any power. They don't have any control over the situation. And then also magical as well, too, is in reverse. This magic that they put over this detective here or over a precinct or department here, it's not going to work. And I do feel like this detective is um, very aware of, like, spiritual work and spirituality and stuff like that. And them finding out that, yeah, belief is here. Okay, Jupiter, 
okay? I do feel that this detective is aware of like spiritual knowledge and things of that nature. And once they figure out or find out that this, this family has been doing that, doing that Toy Story candles, candle work towards them, that it's going to infuriate them even more. Mm -mm. They'll be going down for an attempted M of the collective as well, too. They're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> They're in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. And it's a lot of eyes on them. A lot. They feel very spooked. Cowards. Let's see if they stick together. <laughs> Family. Your family could have worked with your ex to get, to get you stuck and to get you unalive, but it did not work. And once the community is aware of what this, of uh, the other parents of your child did here, I'm telling you, they're going to take themselves out. They're going to take themselves out. Coward. It's my funeral dress. They're going to take themselves out they're not going to be able to handle the heat that's coming on to them and they feel it yeah it's too much tea it's too much gossip around this family dynamic here and they don't like it especially around the other parents here they don't like that publicity or more so they don't like the negativity of that publicity so they feel the only way that they can get out of this is if they get out of this. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Illegal activities here. That's the secret. <laughs> it's not a secret, but they're freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> the game that they played with this detective here was very dangerous very very dangerous game that they played with this detective here and they should be very afraid they don't trust the process because they don't know what to expect Just let the collector put the handcuffs on them dust, them dust mites, please. Call us when you bought the tent, when you bought the rally up them, them, um, them karmics, them dust mites. <laughs> yeah, they karmic as hell. They could be living together right now because, um, they don't have any money. So they're coming together to pool their money to stay together so they can stay afloat. They're going to be heartbroken and shocked. They're suffering in silence because they're busted. They are busted. Someone is drinking way too hard and they're taking pills too. So they're mixing pills and alcohol because they don't want to deal. They don't want to deal with any of this. did black magic on anyone that would listen they do the black magic first and then they go in with their sob story or whatever yeah the collective this and the collective that no the collective is going to get justice and good luck you'll be reunited with your child you will you may have been married to this person at one point in time yeah sudden changes are coming to a dynamic a household dynamic child is being removed from a home. A child or children is being removed from a home based on the things that they have done. I 
I'm telling you, I'm tell, you can rest, collective. Okay, you gonna get a call. Some, you gonna get something here. You gonna get a call. Come get your, come, come, come collect your child. Come get your picnic. Come and get your child. Siblings definitely help this this ex do this BS here as well too. So they're all going through a lot of anxiety because this ex is going to throw the family dynamic under the bus because they don't want to take they don't want to take the blame for it. This was a false twin flame here, and this person's unemployed. They're looking for a new job and they can't find one. They not only cheated you, collected they they cheated the system. And they really thought that they can get away with it. Hmm. Sad. A Leo could be involved. Hitting agenda is in reverse. They tried to bully you. Try. They tried to bully you. They're going to try to use in court that they're not well in the mind or they're schizophrenic or something like that. That's not going to work. And the reason why it's not going to work is because of the years of the of the abuse that they were abusing the system here. So they're not going to take uh, pleading insanity or whatever, any type of mental instability here. They're not going to take that as a, like a plea or something. They're going to hit them really hard. They're going to book them down really hard, really, really, really hard. And they don't see this coming. Addictions. Someone is really trying to cope with life. It could be a Sagittarius that is untrustworthy here. It could be a Taurus that was using black magic. However, it resonates. They're in a lot of legal matters. A lot. Your family and their family work together to stop you from moving forward. They all band together to do this towards the year. Now they're being evicted. Now they don't have a home. Now they don't have a place. Now they don't have money. And they're pretending like everything is A-OK -okay when it's not. They are burnt out to no end. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, you going to sit there and you going to take that, boo. You going to sit there and you going to eat your crow. That's what you going to do. Okay, I have a Libra here. However it resonates, you could be, they could be. Okay, however it resonates. They're going to be so shocked that they caught. Because they never thought in a million years that they would have been caught. <clears throat> Told you. Shocking message. Message. See, you got mental illness here, but it's in reverse. They're going to try to plead that they have mental illness, but they're not. The courts are not going to go for that. They're not going to go for that. And the reason they're not going to go for that is because of the continuous complaints and the, the type of things, the type of activities or the behaviors of these so-called karmics here um, that, that they were doing towards the detective and also you here. And they are in a lot of twabble. Not trouble. They ain't a lot of twabble with a TW twabble. Hmm. Like Elmer Fudd twabble. Yeah, that's them. That's them heifers. Mm -mm. Them heifers in a lot of twabble. <laughs> There's no nothing. There's no positive ending for these individuals here. Could be a Leo, a low vibrational Leo. There's no hope for them either. A low vibrational Taurus. <laughs> the ritualing that they were doing against people or on top of people is no longer working. Here's another Leo. So you have so far you have Taurus and Leo here. They could have been doing the work, however, it resonates. But there's no energy in the work that they have been pushing out here. Virgo is in reverse. So 
So all of the energy that they've been sending out is being pushed back to them and it's knocking them out here. There's a mother, man, there's a, I just keep hearing mommy, mommy, please make it, please make it. Mommy not going to make it. I'm not going to sit, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. The karmic mommy is not going to make it. So you need to find some kind of a shoe box or some kind of a, some kind of something here, some kind of a pizza box, some kind of something to put this person resting remains in because they're not going to make it too, too much longer. I'm just being honest with you. So they need to find some kind of box or some kind of something to put this, this piece of shit in. All mommy know how to do is defraud the government. All mommy know how to do is lay on her back and try to get money from Tom, Dick, and Harry. Mommy is not a nice person. Mommy is not a clean person. Mommy's sick inside. And can no spell work and no, no aid or no medicine or no nothing can help that, that mommy come back to life. Mommy put her whole uh, family in danger because of her licorishness, her greed. Licorice means greed, greedy. Her foul licorishness. Look where it gets her in a box. Using the collector's name. The fraud in the collector, the fraud in the government. Y'all weird. <laughs> Y'all weird. All right, my spirit's telling me stop right there. That's all you need to know. <laughs> I just had the buckle. Like, get on, get on now. I'm like, okay. I'm only doing one of these. Then I'm going to go ground. Someone has a Nissan. Their someone's Nissan engine. Something's wrong with the engine of a Nissan. Their their car could have been repoed or uh, totaled because of the. The engine. I told you somebody, somebody mama not going to make it. I, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, they mama not going to make it, boo. <laughs> told you. I ain't making it up. <sighs> Someone's name is Nick, Nikki. And I see... Uh, yeah, I do have Nikki. Someone's name is Nikki. So we have Nikki this way. Could be Nikki, Nikisha. Then we have Nikki, N-I-C-K-Y. Could be Nicholas as well. Nick, Nicholas. I'm hearing Shahada. Someone's brother is in trouble. A karmic brother is in a lot of trouble. I mean, Hafisa, Nafisa, Broken Row, Broken Arrow. I'm hearing fentanyl. I'm hearing Dylan, 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 Dylan. Remember Dylan from uh, Making the Band with P. Diddy? <clears throat> Someone loves Burger King. Let me tell you how much I love water. When one goes out here, I got a next one here. <laughs> I love some, I love me some water, child. I, I maybe because I'm a water side, I don't know. But I love me some water. Oh my God, water is so good. Mm. Especially if it's crisp too and it's clean tasting, man. I'm here, Broski. FEMA, F E M A. So you were, um, what's the word? If you were a person that were affected by like a hurricane or a tornado or something, maybe you were looking for like a FEMA grant. 
some kind of FEMA stipend or something of that nature, you're going to get it. You just have to stay on top of them, but you will receive it. Oh, okay. I'm going to stop right there. Short and sweet. <laughs> Tenth house. Saturn. Scorpio. Venus. Eleventh house. Gemini. Second house. Sun sign. Gemini. So an actual Gemini. Libra. Eighth house. Jupiter. One more of these. Fifth house. Taurus. Neptune. All right, so we have Aquarius. We have Leo. We have Aries. Gemini. Libra, let's do four more. Leo. Cancer. Two more. Sag. Cancer. Okay? So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time.